Hey guys, welcome to History Behind the Warrior, and today we've got another double whammy, as we're covering Dramin and Moloch, the two Onis. Since these two are always paired together, I figured it was the best way to talk about these characters. Adramin and Moloch make their first ever debut in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, where they meet Quan Chi who is currently fleeing from Hanzo Hisashi. The sorcerer made a bargain with the two Oni, saying that if they were able to get rid of Scorpion, then he would assist them in leaving the Nether Realm. Knowing that this was the only way they could escape the Nether Realm, the two agreed and managed to drive off Scorpion. They then followed Quan Chi to some ancient ruins, where they found a dormant portal that could be used with the amulet of Shinnok, which Quan Chi at this present time had in his possession. Now as Quan Chi was opening the portal, he would be attacked by Scorpion, in which Dramin and Moloch then intervened, giving Quan Chi the time he needed to run through the portal. The three would then follow, but would find themselves in different locations, as Dramin and Moloch both ended up in Outworld. The two would then begin walking around Outworld trying to find Quan Chi. But one day they would come across Shang Tsung, who at this point in time had formed the deadly alliance with Quan Chi. He would then employ the two Oni as a safeguard measure if Quan Chi ever decided to betray him. He would then hide the two Oni beneath the palace that they had created, feeding them mortals in the meantime and promising them revenge against Quan Chi, as the two felt that they were strung along and ditched by him. Whilst waiting for the opportunity, they were found by Scorpion. The two Oni proved to be too much for the Hell Spectre, and after defeating him, threw him into a Sornado. Now the two disappear after this point, being absent for the events of Mortal Kombat Deception, and only then returning in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Now the two are later seen during the conquest mode of Armageddon, where we learn the two are back in the Nether Realm, though the reasonings for how they are sent back there are yet unknown. Whilst they are in the Nether Realm, they just aimlessly walk around eating other demons. And one day they would come across Taven, who would defeat the two. Dramin and Moloch then joined the forces of darkness during the Battle of Armageddon, but like a large majority that participate, the two do perish. Now Dramin and Moloch do resurface in the new timeline, although it does seem to be extremely brief, and the two seem to be full-fledged servants of Quan Chi, and they are seen in the comics where Scorpion delivers them the head of Havoc. The two attempt to challenge Hanzo, as they are aware he no longer serves the Nether Realm, but Hanzo still manages to escape. The two then take the severed head to Quan Chi, to which he then crushes Havoc's skull. Quan Chi then turns his attention towards Dramin and Moloch, saying that for their failure to capture Hanzo, results in Moloch being decapitated by Kitana, and Dramin being killed by Quan Chi by his magic. That's really it for Dramin and Moloch. There's not really that much to the two characters, but I do notice that a lot of people actually really like them. Now, these two don't really have that much going up from them, even from the get-go, but it was actually nice to see them return in the new timeline, even if it was extremely brief. Now, before we finish up the video, I want to talk about a petition that's currently being created. Now, for those of you who don't know, there's a Mortal Kombat encyclopedia that's kind of been put together. I've put a few pictures here on the screen so that way you guys can actually see how good the quality is of the content that's in this encyclopedia. Now this amazing book is almost finished but still does need a lot of fan support. Now we need to get as many people as we can who like Mortal Kombat to sign this, as this petition is being made in order to get NRS to kind of support this book. So please, if you have the free time, definitely look down in the description below and please sign that petition, as the book more or less contains everything I've ever said about Mortal Kombat on my channel. And also just letting you guys know I'm not actually sponsored to do any of this, but please just go over and do it because I think it's going to be a great way of giving you guys back like a lot of content. Now as always guys, please comment, like, subscribe and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care and I will see you all next time. Damn.